Hey, what's going on you guys out there in Facebook and YouTube land? I want to talk to you guys today about Hugh Freeze. Hugh Freeze coaches Syracuse football team. Now, if you watch Sports Center, if you watch the Syracuse, um, I forget who they played, the Syracuse game from yesterday, you probably saw the scenes or the clips or the points of Hugh Freeze as head coach up in the skyboxes in a hospital bed coaching the team. And one of the other coaches pointing up to him and gave him a thumbs up. And here's, here's the thing I want to get to several different points. Okay, I get that you're trying to show the guys or trying to show your team how much you want to be there and that you're dedicated to um, winning the games and dedicated there to being dedicated there to being with the team and these type of things, showing leadership, I get that. I also get that you're trying to be the role model, whatever the case may be. The only thing I have a, I don't, only, I won't say it's a problem, but I just think that maybe you should have trust and support enough to have your other, how many coaches are there on any given football team, collegiate or professional? There's what, 15? There seems to be one, there's a coordinator for each offense and defense. You have an assistant head coach. You have special teams head coach. You have offensive line, defensive line coordinators. You have a position coach for each position on the football field. So that right there is, I don't know, I can't count right now. I'm just thinking you didn't want, did you not want to or did you not trust anybody to support you while you were in a hospital bed with a bad back? That's my question right now to Hugh Freeze and to people who do this as well. There's nothing wrong with showing dedication. There's nothing wrong with showing leadership. But I think there's a time and a place where if you are physically unable, like he was yesterday, like he was yesterday to stand up on his own with doctor's orders, he should have just stayed home. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure your coaching staff and your players would have supported you if you still had stayed home. So, somebody coming in the house. So my, my thoughts on that is that you should so have trust in your staff that's under you. You should have, it's like a reverse support. They're going to support you while you're in your time of need. You should support them enough to say, hey, you know everything to do in this game plan. You should stay home. I'm going to stay home while you coach your team. And I know you're going to pull out a win. And they did. They pulled out a monster win. They won. They had a shut up. Trust and support. And if they and they seem to be a commodity. So that's my video for the day. Trust and support each other. And have reverse trust and support. By giving other people a chance when you know that they have the ability to do something the same way, if not better, than you can do it. Trust and support. Love you guys.